Hey guys, what's up? This is Manas and I'm back with a new tutorial. Now we were discussing level 3 and right now we're going to discuss problem number 3. Alright, and it goes like this. Two oranges on a tree are respectively 1.8 meter and 3 meter above the ground and 1.2 meter and 2.1 meter from 0.3 meter thick wall but on the opposite side of it. So guys, the scenario is uh, that there are two oranges. Both of them are at a height of 1.8 meter and the other one is at a height of 3 meters. Um, the only difference is one is in front of the wall that is 1.2 meter in front of the wall whereas the other orange let us say um, the orange b it's behind the wall by a distance of 2.1 meters and in fact the wall thickness also has been given in the question the thickness of the wall has been given as 0.3 meters all right the distance between the oranges measured along the ground and parallel to the wall is 2.7 meters determine the real distance between the oranges all right guys as you can see all these dimensions have been given to us in meters so for us to draw this on drawing sheet we need to take a scale and that scale is going to be one meter is equivalent to one centimeter so this is what um we are going to implement in our drawing sheet all right so 1.2 meter will become one centimeter 2.1 meter will become 2.1 centimeter etc etc right so let's uh, <coughs> begin and I'm going to show you right now a pictorial representation of this overall scenario of these two oranges. Let us say we have two oranges. Um, let us name them by A and B. All right. So this is the case. You can clearly see that this orange A lies at a height of 1.8 meters from the ground. And it is in front of the wall by a distance of 1.2 meters. You can guys see that this wall is 0.3 meter thick over here. You can see this. So this is wall 0.3 meter uh, of thickness 0.3 meter. In front of which we have orange A, HA for orange A is going to be 1.8, whereas DA is going to be 1.2. So I've written them down, all right. So this particular orange you can see clearly see is in front of the vertical plane and above the horizontal plane, and hence it is uh, we can say that this lies in the first quadrant. And as far as first quadrant's policy is concerned, we know the front view is going to be above XY line and top view is going to be below XY line. Fine, H is above, D is below. That's the funda that I've always told you. The second, um, the second orange that is orange B, it's behind the wall. All right, how much behind? It is 2.1 meter behind the wall. Again, this is again at a height of three meters above the ground. All right, so we have H as three meters for orange B. H B is equal to three, and similarly D B is is equal to 2.1. As far as orange B is concerned, it lies in the second quadrant since it is behind the V B and it is above the horizontal plane. In such a case, what we have seen is that both front views and top views coincide above the XY line. That means H is also going to be above and D is also going to be above XY line, right? So let's begin without further ado, all right? So all these data have been uh, written them down. You can see them, all right? So let's head over to AutoCAD. And uh, there was one more thing which I think I should tell you guys right now. When you measure the distance between these two oranges, parallel to the floor the distance between them is 2.7 meters all right so this is what the distance between these two projectors is going to be 2.7 meters let's start 1.8 above and 1.2 below fine one point eight above and one point two below right let's give them the dimensions I think we should avoid right now giving dimensions uh, rather um, I'll write here since this is H the dimension is H so I'll write over here H A dash for orange A and this is going to be simply A right I'm gonna lower the font size I'm gonna reduce it um, let's say we're gonna use this uh, 106 that's fine pretty good That's better. A dash and A. So this is what you call the projector of orange A. All right. So this is the front view, and this over here is represents the top view. Now we have this orange B, and this uh, projector line of orange B is going to uh, be 2.7 meters away. All right. 2.7 meters away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go towards this right hand side. Um, 2.7 meters. 2.7 meters. All right. So we have this line over here and this is where we are going to draw the projector of orange B. Now you know that 
orange bee lies in the second quadrant and hence its front view as well as top view both of them are going to lie along this line all right now for orange bee we have this uh, let us see the dimension for orange bee we have a dimension in the form of 3 and 2.1 meters so let us do this quickly 3 and 2.1 so this is going to be 3 all right so what is 3 let me see what is 3 it's it's a dimension in the form of hb and i've always told you put a dash with h all right so this is point b so this is going to be um, b dash b dash now we have another dimension in the form of 2.1 that is d all right so i'm going to go 2.1 meters above 2.1 centimeters rather so this um, guys this over here is going to represent point b <coughs> okay so a lot of lot lot of task has already been done dimensioning part i've kept it for the end i'm going to show you how that can be implemented but for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to join the front views of both the oranges i'm going to join this front view of both the oranges with the help of a line and also the top view of both the oranges with the help of a line all right now we are supposed to find the true length or the actual distance between these two oranges and that can be done by following the steps that i'm going to explain you right now okay so guys be very careful and uh, it's going to be super easy and it's going to be fun all right so what we need to do is i'm going to show you what needs to be done you need to take we are going to rotate this top view okay and we're going to take this a as center and a b as radius we're going to rotate it and make it parallel absolutely parallel to this xy line so this was the original b point and it has uh, shifted here so b becomes b1 the new position all right fine so when b was here b dash was here now b dash also is going to change its position where is it going to go so b dash will have a new position somewhere i'm going to show you where somewhere here so this guy is over here represents the new position of point uh, b so this is going to be b1 dash all right and when you join this b1 dash with a dash you will have yourselves the true length between the oranges okay so this is the true distance between the oranges and it works out as 44.32 millimeters or you can also say 4.4 centimeters or you can also say 4.4 meters that's all right so guys <clears throat> let me write this down um true distance true distance between oranges oranges is equal to 4.4 how much it is let me uh, 4.432 meters okay guys uh, this is a computer and I'm, I'm getting this value up to two decimal places and you guys have to work this out with the help of a scale so it's not possible maybe you guys can reach up to 4.4 okay but you cannot go up to this precision all right so don't have to worry if even if your answer is 4.3 or 4.5 in fact um a, an error of plus uh, one millimeter or minus one millimeter really makes no difference all right so but you have to be very precise with your drawing all right <clears throat> so guys that was all from my side and this was the orange problem which was extremely important and i had to do this um so let's meet again with a new problem and with a new set of ideas so guys this is manas patnaik signing off see you again tata bye bye